Hey, Fit Family, welcome to the best 30 minutes of your day. Coach Lisa here, Coach Michael over there. I want you to follow Coach Michael's lead. He's going to get you all nice and warmed up for our Tabata workout today. So, like I said, today we got a Tabata workout. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds to transition. We're going to be going back and forth between two exercises for each block. Okay? We have five blocks in total, so that's 10 exercises. We've got a one minute direct finisher at the very end. It's like a surprise. All right, so number one, we got sissy squats. I'm gonna give you a full on version and then I'm gonna give you a modified version. So sissy squats, you wanna have the tops of your toes onto the mat, so you're not on your toes. You can have your hands here or you can have your arms out. You're only coming back as far as you are able to thrust, working those quads and squeezing your butt forward. So you come back and bring it up. A way to transition is to, or to modify is to come back and then when you can't, you can sit down and then start again and come back up. So come back, sit, press up. Okay, so that would be your modified version. We're gonna be alternating those with a man maker. So as you can see, I have weights here as well. So you're gonna come into that man maker starting in a plank position. You're gonna row, row, jump it in, bicep curl, press, and then start again, okay? So it's a renegade row, jump it in. It's like a burpee. I don't know what else to say, right? It's kind of a burpee. We're just sneaking it in there. Block two, we've got wide push-ups. So not your standard push-ups. We're gonna go even wider, just getting a different area of the chest, okay? So your hands can even be slightly wider than your shoulders. You're gonna come down and come up. So to modify, you're just gonna drop to the knees. We're gonna follow that, getting our heart rate up. So knee, knee, uh, inner ankle, inner ankle. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Okay, 20 seconds of that going back and forth between those two. Then we're gonna go into block three. You can use a weight or not. If you're using a weight, you can either have it in front or behind your head for good mornings. So tilting forward, press through the heel, squeeze the butt, come up. Okay, then from there, jump lunge. If you don't like that, you can take it into alternating reverse lunges or forward step back lunges. Then number four, we're coming into dead bugs. So lifting up just like a curled up bug, but you're kind of struggling. Okay, little movements, very active with the abs, keeping that lower back down. From there, we are gonna switch into, if you don't have a platform available, don't worry about it. You're just gonna use it, pretend that you have one. My platform is not very high. Michael has a step, he has his raised. You're gonna come into a drop, set, squat. Okay, so you can go like this. You can step it up if you want and then go back. If you don't have that available to you, just fake it. Okay, same idea. From there, we're going into a side plank clam. So you're gonna come onto the forearm, elbow's gonna be under the shoulder, knees are gonna be bent in like you're doing a modified. Then you're gonna lift up and you're gonna come up into that clam and down, so up, down. Okay, the next time we come around, you're gonna do the other side. We're gonna follow that through. Second exercise is gonna be a double punch jack. These guys, okay? Your direct finisher. So that means there is no break in between that last set of dumbbell, bu <laughs> dumbbell bum, double press uh, jacks right into full on burpees, you guys. So one minute, trying to get as many as you can. Get that heart rate nice and high. Feel like you just want to be done, because you will. And then we're going to stretch, right? Always the good stuff after the bad stuff. But it's not really bad, it's really good for you. I'm going to finish off with that jog, and then we're going to get right into it. Starting off with those sissy squats, followed by those dumbbell man makers or burpees, whatever you want to call them. We've got about 10 seconds, and then we're going to set up. All right, you guys. So I'll show you that variation again. Full on, maybe you're leaning out, pressing up, modified, come all the way, drop to your bum, and then sit back up. Okay, so do what's gonna be sustainable for you. Really think about just like that machine that they have at the gym where you're pressing yourself up. Nice work, all right. Grabbing those dumbbells, row, row, bicep curl, and into a thruster. So starting off in that plank, 
We're gonna row it, row it, jump it in, stand, bicep curl, press. And then back again. Eight seconds. Last two. All right, making your way back down again, round two. Get nice and tall, belly's tight, lean it back. Okay, so if you're not quite there, but you're not at the modified either as well, you can turn your toes. See how I have my toes now? They're helping me. So you don't have the tops of your feet flat onto the floor. It's gonna be a little more help, a little easier. Otherwise, tops of the feet flat into the floor. Back into those dumbbell burpees. Row, row. Let's go. If you wanted to, you could add a push up in there, but we're going into wide push ups coming up in your block two. All right, you guys, we're round three. Let's go. Make sure you breathe, so breathe in as you lower, breathe out as you press up. Five seconds. Nice work. All right, second last one of these guys. Going in three. Two, let's go. Last set. Get nice and tall. Flatten out the tops of the feet, bellies in, lean back, thrust. Seven seconds. Last three. Nice work, you guys. All right, last one before you get a break. Row, row, jump in. Last two. All right, you guys, you have a 40 second break. Grab some water. I'm actually gonna move this out of the way for now. Okay, so exercise one, you've got those wide push-ups. Okay, so wide knees or toes. Then you're gonna come into exercise two. Just knee, knee, foot, foot, knee, knee, foot, foot. Okay, those are the two. Weights can be pushed out of the way. If you're using a platform, you can push that out of the way. We're gonna set up in three, two. Let's make our way down. So wrists, fingers are wide, support those wrists. Bellies are tight. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you press up. That's it, you guys, 10 seconds. Make sure you're not leading with your head. Keep that nice plank position. Beautiful. Now we're gonna get our heart rates up. Knee, knee, toe, toe, okay? Three, two, Let's go. Knee, knee, toe, toe. Okay, if you don't like that, you could be going knee, knee, toe, toe. That's it, last three, two. Back to those push-ups. Set it up, bellies in. Three, two, 
Let's go. Still keeping those elbows slightly under the shoulders. Don't let gravity take those abs down. Keep them pulled in. That's it. Last four. Nice work, you guys. Round two, knee, knee, toe, toe. Going in three, two, let's go. <laughs> Michael slapping the crap out of himself. That's it, seven seconds. All right, you guys, we are halfway through. Two more sets of each to go. Catch your breath. Three, two, let's go. So you should find these a little easier than those military push-ups because you got the chest really helping you out here. Bounce it up. Shake it out. Going in three, two, knee, knee, toe, toe. That's it. Eight seconds. Nice work, you guys. All right, last time for these. Going in three, two, let's go. Stay nice and strong, 10 seconds. Last four. Nice work, you guys. All right, last time for those knees. High two knees, two toes. Then we're moving into block three. Ready? Let's go. That's it, five seconds. All right, grab some water. So block three, we are going into good mornings. And then we've got that jump switch lunge. So if you're doing full on, you're following Michael. If you're doing modified, you can follow me. I'm gonna be alternating between one set, I'm gonna be doing reverse step back lunges. Second set, I'm gonna be doing um, forward step backs. You can do all of them this way. You can do all of them jumping. You can do all of them reverse, up to you. All right, if you're using a weight for those good mornings, grab it, hug it, feet under the hips, belly's pulled in, shoulders back, send the tailbone back, get that stretch, and then squeeze your butt up. That's it, you guys, five seconds. Nice work. Lunges in five, three, two, let's go. Regardless of which one you take, make sure that that front knee is not passing the toe. Keeping those knees nice and safe. Five seconds, three, two. All right, grabbing that weight again if you're using it. Feet under the hips, bellies in, shoulders back. Three, two, let's go. Halfway. Three, two. All right, round two lunges. Going in five, three, two, 
Let's go. Halfway. Three, two. All right, you guys, coming back into those good mornings. We are halfway through. Two sets in, two sets to go. Let's go. Already halfway. Make sure you are not hyperextending your knees. Back into those lunges. Go on in five, three, two, let's go. Okay, if you're doing those stationary lunges, you guys, I want you to get nice and deep. Last one of each. Going in three, two, let's go. Five seconds. Last time for those lunges. Going in four. Three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Are you feeling your legs yet? All right, you guys, grab some water. We're going to make our way onto the floor. We've got dead bugs. Then we're coming into those um, step drop squats. So if you don't have a platform, don't worry about it. You're just gonna take it into those wide, so envision this was here, just into those wide ones. And then center, if you want more, you're going wide, center, wide, center if you don't have that platform, okay? But we're gonna start off with those dead bugs, or call them struggling Stay alive, bugs. Going in three, two, let's go. Eight seconds. Three, two. All right, you guys. So platform or not, Going in three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two. All right, round two. Going in four. Three, two, let's go. Okay, so harder, legs are gonna be more extended, easier. Legs are gonna be bent, heels are gonna come towards the floor. Five seconds. All right, round two. Going in four, three, Two, let's go. That's it, keep going, 10 seconds. Last three. Nice work. All right, two in, two to go. Get ready, going in three. Two, 
Let's go. Halfway. Last two. All right. Second last time for these guys. If you weren't feeling your legs, you should be now. Let's go. Ten seconds. All right, you guys, one last one. Going in three, two, let's go. That's it, halfway. One more set, you guys, of those jumps. You ready? Going in three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Whew. Shake it out. All right, so we are done with that box if you were using one. Coming into our final block. So on the floor, side plank clam. So you're coming into that side plank. Okay, alternating between those two sides. Then you're gonna bounce up. You got the double punch jack. So four sets of each, then direct finisher burpees. Okay, make your way down. Three, two, let's go. That's it. Really squeeze, push the hips forward as you lift up. Push. That's it, eight seconds. Okay, so remember the side you're on so you can switch it out next round. So mine, I was on my left side. Next time I'll be on my right. Going in three, two, jump ball, double punch jacks. Get that heart rate up. Modify this, right? That's it. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two. All right, other side. So if you were on your left, now you're on your right. If you were on your right, now you're on your left. Next time, you'll be on the other side. So we get two sets of each side. Push forward through those hips as you lift up for three, two. Nice work, you guys. Back to those double punch jacks. In four, three, two, let's go. If you wanted to add here, you could be adding a dumbbell. Completely up to you. Six seconds. That's it. Three, two. All right, now I'm going on to my left. So I've got two sides in for a second set in. Going in three, two, lift it up. That's it, bellies are tight. Turn this way so you can see me. You're looking at a different angle. That's it, last two. Nice work, you guys. All right, going into that double punch jack. In three, two, let's go.
five seconds. All right, last time for these guys. So when I say last set, you guys, you say best set, last set. Best set. Let's go in three, two. Good, abs are tight. Squeeze those glutes and those abductors. Five seconds. Three, two. All right, last time for those jacks. And then we're going right into the burpees. No break in between, you guys. Three, two, let's go. I want you to challenge yourself. See how many burpees you can get in and maybe even write it down. Because I'm sure a one minute burpee finisher will come up again. And it's a good way to measure your progress or to challenge yourself. Let's go. But remember to pace yourself because you have a minute. So if you go all full throttle, you're gonna have no gas. You're gonna stop and do nothing. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Last ten. Three. All right, grab some water. Keep your body moving. Catch your breath. Should be breathing pretty heavy. Loosen up those arms. Nice work, you guys. All right. While we're kind of moving, let's activate and get our shoulders in. So bring your left arm across. If your heart rate's still pretty high, you can go side to side. Getting the blood flowing through the body. Good, take that same arm behind. And let's switch it to the other tricep. Good, bring that arm across, right arm across. And then hands into those back pockets. Squeeze through your glutes. Draw your elbows together, drop your shoulders. Press your chest forward. Nice work, you guys. Good, keeping the left leg forward, right leg coming down. And then step that left leg even further forward till you get that nice stretch happening into your right hip flexor. Left forearm onto the thigh, right bicep up by the ear, and then curl it over. Open up those obliques. Nice work, you guys, release. Walk it back. If you're really tight, you might be here. If you're pretty open, you might bring in your nose to your knee. And then slowly bring that leg back and let's switch it out other side. Good. Get the hip flexor first, then add that right forearm onto the thigh, left bicep by the ear and bring it over. Good. From here, you guys sitting onto your bottoms, let's open up our hips. So bend the knees, take the right ankle. So this is kind of that thread the needle standing. From here, if you're really tight in through that right hip, you might be staying here. If you're pretty open, maybe you're walking your bum closer towards your heel and walking your hands with it. Press that right hip to away from you. So you find that stretch into your hip, bum stays on the floor. Good, and let's switch it out. Crossing the other leg, and then you might need to do that same adjustment. Bring your bum closer if you're pretty open.
Good, release that leg, soles of the feet coming together, opening up those inner thighs from those drop squats. Good, come on up. Last but not least, let's get our uh, quads in. So you can either roll onto your side, grabbing that foot, or you can stay in a seated position, bringing that leg back. Push that hip forward so you've got a stretch coming into the front of your leg, all the way down towards your knee. If you're on your side rolling or flipping, if you're like me, you're just gonna switch it out to the other side. Regardless of where you are, you are pressing that hip forward, taking that stretch deeper into the front of the leg. Good, and then let it go. Slowly make your way up. Walking your hands up your thighs. Head's the last thing to come up. And let it go. That was your workout, you guys. Make sure you get lots of water in. Get something good and healthy into your body. Let's bring it in so we can get you on to the rest of your day. Three, two, one, fit body. Make sure you like us on social media. Subscribe to our channel. That way you're always in the know. And until next time, I'll see you same place, same time. Great work, you guys. Coach Lisa here from South Fit Body. Just want to say thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. Subscribe to our channel and let us know your comments because we'd really like to know what you think and we want to see you come back. Just wanted to wish you a great day and hope to see you back again. Thanks. Have a great day.